Um, the key skills uh, for, a, for a full stack developer would require the person to essentially have expertise in, in the front end technologies. Uh, so HTML, HTML5, um, CSS3 um, and any other front end technology that, that you might use if, if there are mobile applications involved and obviously the mobile tool set. Um, you then need uh, knowledge of the server side technologies, so whether it's Ruby, PHP, uh, Java, or uh, the you know, Node.js or the JavaScript frameworks with, which do the backend processing. Um, you need to understand uh, integration, uh, so whether it is uh, SOAP uh, or REST, which is a lot more popular now, uh, mechanisms for the front end and the back end to essentially integrate with each other. And obviously the, the persistence layer, which is uh, database technologies, um, the most popular ones nowadays being MySQL, PostgreSQL, uh, MongoDB, uh, and things like Apache Cassandra. Um, in addition to that, uh, you also need to understand the overall software engineering uh, life cycle and discipline. So you need to understand uh, Agile as a, as a development methodology, uh, as you work with other team members and, and scrum masters and people in the business. Uh, you need knowledge of uh, tools uh, for software versioning like GitHub, uh, Bitbucket, Subversion. Um, you need knowledge of certain quality uh, and performance engineering tools uh, like JMeter, JProbe. So again, depending on the technologies you use, you will find different individual tool sets. But uh, as a full stack developer, you need to understand all of these elements because delivering a uh, working, functioning and uh, performant application to your business is, uh, will really need all of these skill sets. Um, the job market for full stack developers, I think is uh, perfectly poised now more than ever. I mean, I, I would say it's always been very good because in a true technology team, a full stack developer is always appreciated. Um, I think, you know, as the focus moves away from only these large tech services companies, more towards the startup ecosystem, more towards businesses who now need to become uh, more tech aware, who need their own technology presence, um, and who need technology applications, whether it's on the web or via mobile, to connect to their customers, there is a much greater need um, of people who can develop end-to-end -end web applications. And there are, I think, a lot of opportunities, uh, not just uh, with the startup ecosystem, but also uh, within businesses um, who, who are looking to hire technology people and uh, for specific initiatives who may not necessarily need to engage a very large team from a services provider uh, to, to do that kind of work. So I think it's, it's really a good time to be a full stack developer. Um, I, so I think uh, there is a context uh, when both kinds of um, uh, you know, hiring is required. Um, in, in the world where we have larger a number of opportunities with startups and a lot of uh, smaller uh, needs with the business to develop quick uh, and impactful applications that can connect to their customers, their vendors or, or their ecosystem. Uh, they are really not looking at significant uh, large chunks of investment uh, as you would for example when you're building an enterprise system or an ERP. Um, so I think uh, it depends really on the context. If you are uh, a Google or an Apple, for example, who develop a software that is used by you know over a billion people, you will obsess over every little detail um, in terms of the user experience and in terms of performance and in terms of uh, the actual engineering of the operating system. And so companies like that will definitely uh, use a lot of specialization, but the larger uh, population, I would say, of businesses out there uh, don't need that level of 
uh, you know, uh, uh, don't need that level of specific knowledge in each of the areas. And therefore, um, really, it's, uh, I would say, the larger population of opportunities uh, and companies that are hiding out there, not just in startups, but even in established businesses who are trying to go digital for the first time is, is really, you know, the, the ability to hire a few people who they can work with in their business and get what they need done, you know, get their business digitally enabled. So 